I think it, being a chief, you have to have a good heart, whether you're a man or a woman, because you need that heart to, to be able to give, to be able to support, and to be able to look after everyone, the elders, the young people, our children and our grandchildren. Actually, I wasn't even in town when I saw my name on Facebook that I was nominated. And I said, wow, somebody considered me to run for chief. So when you're elected, you get to have two weeks to decide whether you take it or not. So for that two weeks, I really thought of, thought of it and I said, am I capable to run the community? There were lots of things going through my mind. First, I had spoke to my husband because I needed him because if I were to to take it I needed his um, support I, I, I even asked my children I even talked to my family I spoke to my dad spoke to my siblings and and I asked my friends and I said do you think I should run and spoke to a few community members and they encouraged me to um, to run. That night, <laughs> my husband wrote a, on his uh, social media post, last night I went to sleep with a teacher and this morning I woke up with a chief. <laughs> you know that being a chief is not is what I expected. You have challenges every day. There's pain, there's, there's, so, much, there's so much hurt and there's so much heaviness. So I take my heaviness and I go to church and I don't tell anybody and I just like to sing. And when I sing in, in the church, it just blesses me. It just, I just get strengthened, feel more blessed when I do that. Even this morning when we had those two caskets come in this morning, first we took, we uh, attended the family first and then the other family and we get so much help from the peacekeepers too, like they play an important role for us too, like the, our frontline workers, the young people that help us counsel, it's like, it goes a long way. I was on council before. I uh, was on council for four years and it's been hard. You know that you have your hard days and your, you have your happy days. My love for my community hasn't changed. And I care, I really care. You know, I um, my first few meetings out there, out there when I got to travel, and then I want when I'm when I'm asked to speak and how I feel, I just can't help it when I get so emotional. <laughs> For example, our um, our water and sewer, like this year it's 2023, and most of us have outhouses and it was one of the things that really overwhelms me and saddens me and to be the voice for that it's it's been very challenging and I want to be that voice to keep those projects going when you ask me that first questions if I were to be chief what would be the things that I would want to work for and that was one of it was to with these addictions to help our young mothers and our young people I've taught the junior kindergartens to four-year-olds, four-year-olds and five-year-olds. That's who I taught for all those years, over 20 years. I, I see them in our community, their parents now. I taught them how to write their name, taught them how to tie their shoes, and to see them being young parents. And that I now that I'm chief, I uh, get to look after them more <laughs> and we need resources for our children because our children suffer in silence so if we were able to help them with their grief their loss their addiction and their mental well-being how do we help them what kind of resources would I find if I were to be chief and bring back to the community and help them it's one of the things that I was that I am still working on because I want healthy families, I want healthy children, and I want the children to, to grow in healthy homes, in healthy living. It's not just like me here being here, it's about have, it's about getting to work with other people.
and the when we when we all come into one table like all the hands and all the people that you met today and even when I'm having a really tough day here when I'm sitting here I uh, I would drive myself to the school and just to be in there and to hear all the noise that I don't hear here it just, just comforts me just the noise and the children, the people, the staff there, just, it just really does something to my heart. And just visiting the school, it's like therapy for me. <laughs> I just want to be soaked in it, you know? Being with the children, it just, and when I come out of there, I'm just so more like alive and I'm just happy. I'm very thankful for, for everyone. I just wanted to share that too.